were there times when you felt frustrated in terms of being able to use English? Uh, yeah, sometimes you couldn't pronounce the words sometimes as well as the other kids could, mm -hmm. or you couldn't read the phrases as well as the other ones, but I think that you know, uh, with the flashcards we used to do in practice, I think that that really helped with the sounds. That really helped to be able to now pronounce as well as the others. Wow. Yeah. And that's a pretty big deal. If you're in school and you're pronouncing something differently yeah. than everyone else, they kind of raise their eyebrow yeah. and go, what's going on? Yeah, so, so pronunciation's important. We did, did use a lot of flashcards and yeah. stuff in, in our instruction. How did you feel when you found out that you had a high enough score to exit from the I ESL? felt great. I feel like I can finally be able to join the rest and be like the rest and everything. And yeah. joining, joining the rest, I, I should explain, uh, the students have to leave the classroom mm -hmm. and you really don't know what everyone else is doing no. while you're gone, yeah. but I'm sure sometimes you come back and everyone's all excited about something. Yeah, and, and you're like, what the heck just happened? You're like, if somebody explained to me, I feel kind of lost, but now yeah, it feels fine to be able to know that you went through that, but that you see, received help so that now you can help others. Yeah. So, so vale la pena. Yeah. <laughs> As we love to say in Spanish, it was uh, worth, worth the trouble. Now, how did you feel the next year when a lot of your classmates are going to ESL and you're not going? Yeah, it felt actually kind of different. You're used to going with some people that you've known since kindergarten, first grade, to the same uh, program every year, and to have them go, it's, it makes you feel like you worked hard enough, that you felt like everything's paid off.